welcome back to my channel. I apologize, I got vlogged in a while. I had a lot of stuff going on between work, school, family, personal, everything, just, just a lot, just a lot going on. So, I am back. I have a lot of exciting things to share with you guys. I realize I have not vlogged in since my competition because I had two vlogs. I had a Halo Top review and then I had an Oro review and my phone deleted them. Not me, my phone because I don't want to take the blame for it because I'm just so upset about it. So I'm just gonna blame it on my phone. And I'm a little bitter about it still. So, phone deleted it. <laughs> and um, I actually reviewed the pumpkin halo top, which is right before this one, but that's the first time I vlogged since the competition. And uh, I decided I'm gonna just take you guys along with me today and we'll see what's up and where we go with this because who knows? My days can be pretty interesting sometimes, you know, run into interesting characters. And I have a lot to do today, so that's bound to happen. Anyway, a couple exciting things I want to share with you guys really quick. One, I start powerlifting today. Because I'm going to follow a 5 one program until I can start with my coach. Um, I just have a lot going on, so I'm not able to start with him at the moment. But I'm too impatient to wait. So I'm going to just follow the 5 one program because I've researched it. I think it's really great. I like the structure of it and I have a couple friends that do it and they see progress with it so we're gonna give it a shot. Um, it's pretty much how it, it is what it is and you can't change it and it's based off of percentages of your one rep max based off 90% but the program follows through based off that 90% of your one rep max and your accessory lifts are always going to be individualized. Those will be according to you and what you need to strengthen to, or like you need to focus on to strengthen your compound lifts. So this program is based off of four days. You can do it in three, but I'm gonna do four um, and see how that goes. And yeah, so I'm like super excited about that. that. Um, yesterday I just did like a chest tries shoulders workout um I've been pretty much doing my own kind of thing in the gym for the past few weeks and just kind of taking it easy I didn't want to jump from one prep to another so today I'm gonna do day two of the program just because I'm not gonna do upper body like when I just did upper body yet. second second exciting thing that I want to share with you guys is I started uh with straight jacket USA I don't know why I'm gonna pause um, this is the shirt I'm wearing today, and I'm so, so excited to be a part of this team. I couldn't, like, couldn't tell you guys enough how, how excited I am, like, how honored I am uh, to be a part of this team and to watch us grow into, like, this little SJ family. It's really great, um, super motivating, and, yeah, so if you, like, if you don't know, if you don't know who they are, go check them out, I promise you. Like, I don't recommend or tell people about something unless I 100% agree with it or I'm 100% behind it. So if I recommend something to you, whether that's food, um, clothing, anything, a brand, anything like that, go check them out. I really love what they stand for. And you know, just like all about motivating and inspiring others and helping each other like reach their goals and pride. And like their thing is like pride, power and performance. And I just think it's like really great. Something awesome to be part of. Don't know why I can't talk right anyway. Now. Um, I am getting ready to go to the gym. Now I just finished breakfast and then I'm thinking I wanna go get a smoothie from Blend because I was watching a YouTube video from Brian DaCosta and he was he was having a smoothie and now I want a smoothie <laughs> even though I just ate breakfast. So I'll probably do that after the gym because I have a lot to do to go shopping for the gains i have to go get my oil changed because i'm like a few hundred over which is fine but i probably need need an oil change it's been a while it's been a few months um and i have school work and i have a lot to do today guys so let's just let's get to find out a piece make it completely 
bullshitted at the gym happens you know and I'm also not really used to like lifting only for like a few things you know like I'm used to having just like my bodybuilder style training and my competition training so which are pretty lengthy so it's like going from that to the 531 program is completely different and I'm only doing like a fraction of the work but it'll be more beneficial for me and I am at blend right now because I really want a smoothie so I'm gonna get a protein smoothie here and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I'm starving because I bullshitted at the gym for four hours and then it started raining so I didn't want to go outside if anyone saw my Instagram story you saw it was like a monsoon out there it's still raining a little bit but it's not as bad so hopefully hopefully not it doesn't get any worse today um, I'm hoping to go riding tomorrow because my battery for my bike came in so I'm excited for that get on my bike a little bit and I'm also going to increase my calories today because let's be real I haven't really been focusing on my nutrition so much as much as I should and I'm maintaining at whatever I am I'm 110 ish 109 110 I maintain and I'm literally eating way more calories than I'm tracking so if I'm maintaining I thought I might as well just increase and eat more beneficial ones that are like more nutrient dense ones and stuff than what I am I just wanted to let you guys know what I got um, I got the Snickers protein shake so they use body tech um, protein which is like 17 grams of protein in one scoop and I was watching what they put in it and she put like two tablespoons of peanut butter because I got the Snickers one and um, I got the vanilla protein because I'm a little iffy with chocolate protein sometimes they taste like good chocolate sometimes they taste like nasty protein chocolate so we weren't gonna do that um she put a banana in here I'm guessing it was probably about 85 90 grams and there is probably yogurt in here or some type of milk or dairy so I pretty much base this at it's like 20 ounces I base this at like probably like 400 calories which is like I think it's like mostly from the peanut butter honestly because it's like 15 20 grams of fat in here for the peanut butter but it's really good hey guys so I am about to go to dinner in a few minutes, but I haven't vlogged in the past few hours. I was doing homework and I went grocery shopping and I put everything away. I did not meal prep yet, but that I will probably do tomorrow. I have a lot going on the next two days, so just wanted to get caught up on some homework and stuff. So I'm not worrying about it all like by Friday and my major assignments are due on Sundays. And I don't like to leave everything for last minute because I get just so overwhelmed and my anxiety gets the best of me. So I sat down and I did some homework for a little bit. So I am about to go to dinner and I am wearing this. Um, I am a little iffy on wearing a skirt. I don't really wear skirts. I also don't know how to match and do girl things. So this is, this is the first time wearing this. Um, I've had this skirt for like five years and I have not worn it yet because I don't know how to wear things. Um, I am like the least girliest girl you will ever, you will ever see and hypothetically me, meet, you know? So anyway, here we are. I put a little poll up on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Instagram, I mean, because I was like yay or nay, guys. I need, I need everyone's input because I don't know what I'm doing. And I was like Snapchatting my friends. My one friend was like, nope, you look good. Nope, it helps break it up. You're doing good. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'd be lost without you. Um, I don't know what I'm eating. I'm like super, super hungry right now. Um, I am also increasing my calories. I have not sat down yet to figure out what my new macros are going to be, but I'm going to up my carbs. I'm probably going to keep my protein where it is, maybe slightly increase it, and um, see how that goes. And tomorrow, I decided I'm going to bench um, and do some of that stuff with one of my friends. He's actually a power lifter too, so he's going to he's gonna help me with that. We're going to figure out what my Walmart max is for that, so that way I know where my numbers should be. Um, so we're talking to him about, I'm going to put this down. I don't feel like holding it anymore, guys. I'm sorry. And I need to actually look into meats and stuff and see what I want to, like, what I want to do next year because I also do want to compete in bikini again. So I'm thinking 
I'm gonna do the White Plains show for bikini, which is like June or July, and a powerlifting meet probably maybe in the beginning of the year next year. So that way I have time to cut down for the show and I don't lose a ton of strength before the meet or at the end of next year I'll do a meet so I have time to get my calories back up and my strength back up. Um, probably do the powerlifting meet first and then see where I'm at as far as body composition goes. Um, hmm, what else happened in the past few hours? Oh, I also decided I'm going to incorporate some SAQ and functional cardio in with my training. So I will have the four days where I am doing the powerlifting 531 movements. And one of those day or one day out of the week, I am going to do probably some accessory work and um, some functional cardio, probably some ladder drills and stuff for SAQ. And for those of you who don't know what SAQ is, it is speed, agility, and quickness, because I do want to work on that. Um, it's not something I usually do or have done in the past, but it is something I would like to improve on. It has a lot of benefits to it, You're, like improving your reflexes, improve, improve, blah, blah, blah. improving like your cardio and your endurance and just like your overall health. Like there's so many benefits to it. We're athletes and we need, you should train your body if you, like accordingly, if you are an athlete, like you shouldn't, if you're doing bodybuilding and you want to do just bodybuilding, that's great, but make sure that your overall health is up there as well. You know, I want to be able to walk up the stairs when I'm older and not be out of breath. I want to be able to run like three miles. I'm not even going to go into the benefits of cardio, health benefits, because you like I just, it's just so much it's so much um, just do your cardio people even if it's like three times a week just do it <laughs> um, what else I think that's it I'm pretty sure that's it my deadlift was at uh, 135 155 175 today um, I'm thinking that I just need to work on my form a little bit. I sent the video to my friend who is a powerlifter and he said whenever I go down, just bring my butt down a little bit more and use more legs than I am at the moment. So I'm going to focus on that and making sure that I am pushing through like my heels, which I do, but like using more leg and hamstring work than I am right now. Um, so we'll see how that goes over the next few weeks. This is why videos are important. When you go to the gym, record your stuff because it helps so much. I've improved so many things, like so many of my lifts, by just recording things. <sighs> it's just so much right now. Um, all right, I'm going to go because I am going to be leaving here in the next couple of minutes. I will see you guys later. Thanks for checking in, and we are out.